Hello YouTube, Owen again from uniquelightingcompany.com a website where I make unusual handmade lights and um, unusual things, normally out of wood but other materials, normally lights and um, anyway today, a very quick video, I'm going to show you how to cut a nice neat perfect circle out of wood using a basic bandsaw uh, it's nothing special, nothing expensive and um, you don't need any special setup or jigs or anything Cuts a really neat circle, as you can see there. I've literally just done that. And uh, also, what you'll notice is you don't get a hole in the middle, which sometimes you really don't want, which is what I don't want, because I'm making a wall light out of this. And um, I want a solid piece without um, a hole in this piece. It does have a hole in the other side, which is the key to it. So that's what I'm gonna show you now, okay? So basically, all you need is Hope you can see that i'll try and get a picture in the video as well one of them which is like a double-sided it's a little fitting that actually comes with um, a lot of kitchens you pull it in the side of kitchen cupboards and it lets you um, hang a shelf on and you can literally unplug them put them in it's got a little ridge in the middle so it only goes so far deep into it uh, it goes into a five mil hole so all i do that's my square of wood to start with so on one side in the center I've got a five mil hole. So this little sort of double plug thing, whatever you'd call it, I don't know what it's called, goes in the middle, only goes into a certain depth. And then, this is a very basic setup. I'm gonna do a better one one day, but it gets me out of trouble. Is uh, this piece of board here slides into the bandsaw to a certain depth. And then wherever these holes are, you position your wood onto it to give you the diameter of the hole you need, the circle you need to cut out. So um, yeah, five mil hole as well. The plug that's in the wood simply sits in and you can measure out exactly the distances you need. The blade of the bandsaw sits there. You slide the wood in with it running and you turn it around and basically it cuts out the edges. So um, yeah, it gives you a really nice neat circle, especially in um, easy to cut soft wood like pine like that, not too thick, depends on the blade and the saw you've got. But anyway, I'm quickly gonna set one up and I'll show you exactly how it cuts and um, I'll show you exactly what I mean, okay? Okay, so here we are. This is a board I was just telling you about with the holes set at different... Um, this distance here will obviously be your radius, so you double that. So for example, I want a 20 centimeter circle, so I've got that set at 10 centimeters from the blade. Obviously it's gonna be double that, so it'll give you a 20 meter circle. And all I'm gonna do is put a piece of wood on there. I'm gonna slide this in. And I've got a little block there, a little clamp on, so that it cannot go back any further than that. So it stops exactly where the blade meets there, which is going to be in the centre of the diameter. So that way we're going to go in there with the blade spinning, and then just turn it around to another complete circle. And um, I'll show you what it comes out with. So I've got my plug already in there, at the diameter I want. So I'm just going to put a piece of wood on the plug. So now you've got a piece of wood which can spin, but it can't move anywhere. So, there we go. Just line it up straight to cut into it first. It's all on. And there you have it, it is that simple. Like you say, like you can see, it gives you a really nice neat cut. I mean, you can see it really does give you a good circle. As long as the blade's set up really steady between the clamps so that it can't move anywhere, you turn it round and you end up with a really nice, perfect circle, basically. So um, yeah, you've got your hole in one side, so you don't, you don't have to go all the way through, so you end up with a nice solid piece of wood which would have taken you a lot longer to do with a jigsaw or something. So um, yeah, something I use quite a lot. Like I say, I've only just got a very rough piece. I've just, I've done it about a year ago and I keep meaning to make a, a neater one, more exact with more measurements, but I'll get around to it one day. So um, yeah, hopefully it'll be of use to someone. 
someone that wants to cut a lot of circles out of wood, then um, maybe it will be. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish making this into a light now. So um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Bye.